Hey guys, Chronica420 back here again. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to properly dim your TS2000 Mars Hydro. Okay, so today we got the drivers here. I've already removed the plug from one. This is the plug you're going to have to remove, okay? And this is basically where you're going to be doing your dimming. Now, as you see there is numbers 175, 50, and 25. Those are supposed to be set ratios for you to go to, but I find they're not that accurate because the to dim it is an actual screw that you're twisting, and you never know where that actual screw was started off at. So here's the trick. This is what you need to do. Go to Amazon. Go to like your local hardware store. They might have it. You need to get yourself a watt meter. A simple watt meter will cost you eighteen dollars, fifteen dollars, maybe even ten. Who knows? I know the states get stuff for cheaper. I'm here in Canada. Okay. But you're going to need this to properly know how to dim it because you want to be accurate, okay? That's your first step. Second step, get those caps off, get a flathead screwdriver, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to pull both lights. This light has two sides that are lit up, okay? They're connected by these power cords. My tent's a little tight here, so we're going to take the right side out. The right side's now out. You can see the power is down, dipped to 163, so they come out to about 160, 163. So we're going to want to go to 50%. Got my screwdriver in there, okay? And once again, it's very hard to tell where 50% is at with the screwdriver in there, so this is why you need to do this, guys. Okay? I'm going to wiggle it around in there and find a sweet spot. And as you see, here we go. Okay. So half of 160 would be 80. Whoa! It's touchy. Come on. We're just lightly twisting her. Boom. Oh, too much. Right there. Okay? I'm gonna keep her there. But right there, that's about 50%. Now when you see I take my screwdriver out, it's almost on the 50 but it's not exact. So that's why you need this watt meter because this will tell you exactly what you're at. Okay, so that being said, this side's done, we're at 80, half of 160. Unplug this side now. Leave the other side unplugged while you're unplugging this one. Now go forth and plug back in the right side. Right side's plugged back in. We're back up now. Wow, 170 on the right side. What is going on? So my right side seems to be pumping out a lot more power. <laughs> but anyways, so I know my plants will be bigger on my right side. <laughs> Let's get this down. Another thing is if you do strip the screw, you can replace it with a simple screw at the hardware store. You just gotta find the appropriate size. It is a very easy to strip screw. Trying to get it here. There we go. Come on. Give me the money. Okay, we're trying to get her down the Trying to get her down to 80. Give me a second here. The screw. It's a little jiggly. Or, sorry. A little stripped. There we go. Oh! Come on, baby. Sorry guys, I got a bit of a strip screw on the right side which I have to replace. I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to do that, but there we go, I think we're getting it. Oh, just about there, no it's good enough for me. So that being said, right, oh, there we go. Okay, so that being said, we're around 80 on each 
each side, plug both sides back in, and you'll see that we should be around 160. 163. So that's how to dim your Mars Hydro TS 2000s. Um, any of the TS, the T series should dim like this too. So just so you know, this is the proper way to do it so you know exactly what you're dimming to. Then you know that both sides are correct because I found that I couldn't get both sides correct when I tried dimming them with a par meter. So this is the best way to do it. Get yourself this little buddy here. Um, stay tuned for my channel, Chronica 420. Next up, I'm going to show you how to move these drivers out of the tent. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a future video on adding some IR and UVA LEDs to the reflector because this light does not come with IR UV. Uh, I was kind of misled by their Amazon um, their Amazon ad that said it had it in it just to find out it's just the SP series that has it in it. But other than that, this light's been a beast. Just a beast. Okay, so check in with me again later, guys. It's Chronica420. I'm out.